everybody. Hi, everyone at home. Hopefully you are hearing us as we are talking. I think that's the case. Hello. <laughs> hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, hey, hi. So, uh, if you're looking at the screen, which if you're not looking at the screen, I, how, why do you hear me? Uh, above me is Carrie. Carrie Pop. Hello. Hi. Uh, uh, oh, no, Ross and Carrie on MaximumFun.org. Below what me I is Hal Loveland, who you might hi. know from, let's see, We Got This and Tights and Fights. And below him is Alonzo mm -hmm. Duraldi, who you might know uh, from Maximum Film. Did I say it right? Is it Duraldi? I'll take it. What I answered it? most of them. What's it's it? a lot of things, it, but it, what Duraldi is one of them, so that's great. <laughs> no, I want to say your name right. No, I just it, it, look it, Dura, Duraldi or Duraldi is perfectly perfect for any non-Hispanic American to say. Okay. Beyond that, and because you become the the anchor man who says Nicaragua, and nobody wants. No, that. I, I would never do that. <laughs> I, I, interestingly, and I've never understood why. Uh, my last name, there's something about the combination of the E and the L and the R in a row that short circuits people's brain when I'm spelling it out to them. There's something about it where I, I've seen it written in every different order. Um, a lot of times, McLeroy comes up. And I will say like yeah. M-C-E-L-R-O-Y. And I'll say it like that and put a big gap to it. And for some reason... They just always want to be like McLeroy. I'm like, all right, fine. Yeah, it's great. I mean, look, it reads <laughs> McElroy. We all know this, but sure. we've all decided yeah. to go with y'all, your family's, you know, pronunciation. I had a, I think it was a professor in college once say, like, why is it McElroy? And I was like, I don't know, dude. I was taught it <laughs> when I was anything, like two anything. years old. Like, <laughs> Did the teacher take your lunch money after that? I know, right? It was like, it wasn't my decision. It wasn't was like McElroy, I was like, nerd. Mom, dad, poof, it's McElroy now. Yeah. Deal with it. <laughs> Today's I lesson is this kid's going in a locker. I know. It was such a weird <laughs> flex. Anyways, um, so we're going to be playing some Jackbox games. Uh, but really, the reason we're here is we're celebrating the Maximum Fun block party. And now you might be looking uh, at this screen and thinking, where's Jaren Janet Varney? Or is James Arthur? <laughs> yes, they were unable to make it. We had some last minute substitutions, but I'm so excited. This is going to be a great lineup. Um, Max Fun Block Party is a chance for us to put out some episodes that are very, uh, let's say, uh, welcoming to new listeners where you're not gonna feel lost. You're not gonna feel like you're missing out on some kind of explanation or inside joke or anything like that. These episodes are very uh, newbie friendly. Um, and uh, it's a great time to introduce your friends to some of your favorite shows or for you to check out some other shows. So go to uh, Mac, uh, McElroyShows.com. You can do that too. But MaximumFun.org uh, and check out all the other shows there. Oh, one more thing, folks. So if you've never seen Jackbox, there's a room code that lets people join the room. I'm going to try to cover it up as much as I can. But please... If you catch a peep of the room code, don't join our room. It's just us three, the four of us. I'm gonna try to cover up best I can. Please, please. Okay. Not here we not go. because we don't love you, but because it causes confusion. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Chaotic. Exactly. Let's see. Okay, Alonzo, you can hit all in. Oh, we're gonna get murdered. Yeah. Oh. So glad they got the soundtrack for eight millimeter. <laughs> You're a sewing machine, okay. Oh but first credit, Travis. Congratulations. Thank you. Really anticlimactic at the end there where you have a vacuum. Yeah, if you want to do audience stuff, go for it. Welcome to Trivia Night, a merciless deluge of pain and suffering. You know, like mom used to make. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, those can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and hey, look. We've got an audience playing along too. At the end of the game, if the audience has less money than the player who wins, everyone in the audience dies. Okay, Evil listen. Is 
Say it backwards. That's pretty deep if you think about it. Oh my goodness, will you listen to me? Going on and on like the voices of the birds that tell me what to do. Let's get to the game already! Alright, thanks. Okay, first question. Where do red blood cells come from? When a male... Use your device to answer the question. Uh, that means you weirdos in the audience, too. Shit! Right off the bat, I don't know the answer. Me neither. <laughs> I was gonna say Cleveland, so none of my choices. <laughs> Child of a doctor, and I'm disappointing him again. <laughs> and the Child of God, and I'm disappointing him again. Oh no! Mm. Oh! Oh wow! Right off the bat. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Good guess. <laughs> Whoa. I feel like this voiceover 100% Ross could do. Yeah. <laughs> play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. Oh. Oh. Come now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. These chalices are all pretty I'm so sweet. sorry. Good to the last drop. If you know what I mean. Now let's oh. see what everyone drank. No, no. Wait, what? Oh, well, no, we'll I'll never know. To turn it down. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Oh. Aww, no one drank any poison. Well, I don't promise I, have I will turn down the audio after <laughs> this game. <laughs> Here's how awesome. Are. It's real early though, so don't freak out. And before I forget, let's check in with that audience. And the audience is doing okay-ish. Better than me. What row? Do you like scary movies? <laughs> okay. What was the title of the autobiography of Monkey's lead singer Davy Jones? Oh my god, uh, these are all terrible. I don't know. Uh, Ugh. <laughs> I'm sad that it's any of these. I feel bad for not knowing and worse for not having read it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. With these, with these titles in this economy? <laughs> Who has the time? This one. Oh! Wow! Wow! Oh, so did you try to find the worst one, or how did you guess that? Uh, you know, it seemed like the one that came from the yawp of his soul. Okay. <laughs> We're going to play the finger-cutting game. Oh. It's pretty much there in the title, honestly. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Okay. Easy, easy, come and squeezy. Commence ah, cut. Ah. Thanks for the finger yeah. food. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I don't eat them. I know where they've been. So that was it. Wait. I just lost the finger, I guess. Here's yeah. a scoreboard again. I feel like you're getting the basic That's pattern. Right. Of the oh my god. Okay. Time for a big come from a high victory. Yeah. You. <laughs> Did somebody ask for some nightmare fuel? What's the name of the creepy shape shifting clown in Stephen King's novel, It? Oh, I see. Because we cut off the finger, that's a choice we can't pick. Yeah. Oh. Time's turning out. Who said this? Did it. Hmm. Too Yay. easy. All right. Next question. And now a question about one of the scariest gangs in America. Who's the mm -hmm. leader of the Sharks in West Side Story? Oh, which one's the Sharks? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, 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 okay. That's right. I'm not confident in my answer. I feel pretty good about this one. Uh, it took me, I had to go through some songs in my head, but I think I figured it. <laughs> Who picked this? I did. Yeah. Hey! Again, y'all need to be taught a lesson. It's time to express oh. yourself. I've got to use this drawing technology for some of the other games, right? Rick and Morty. Draw this thing as much as you can and press send when you're finished. 
Are they going to tell us what? Oh, I'm drawing that. Um, okay, I've never seen it. <laughs> yeah! Everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. I mean, one of these has to make you kind of angry. Aw, oh, be shy. Pick a drawing for punishment. Go with your gut. Pick the worst drawing. The votes are in. <laughs> Was that yours, Carrie? <laughs> I know it's a show. It's a show, presumably with two characters and to pick those names. You're dead. But keep playing, and I promise you can still win. Death is not the end. Death is not only the beginning. That killed me? Yeah. But yeah. you're still playing. You're still Doesn't playing. Fair. And you're still winning. <laughs> there is that. How many gold medals did Michael Phelps win in the 2008 summer? God. They should cut you off at one. What the hell's this? Right? Leave some for the rest of us, Phelps. Yeah. <laughs> Melbo. <laughs> There's a point at which it just becomes tacky. Yeah. I know, right? Was he going to wear all of them at the same time when he goes out to party? Come on. You can hurt your neck from that way. There is this one. All right. What's he trying to prove? Let's play again. Fuck off, Michael Phelps. Yeah, I'm glad somebody finally said it. I don't even know what sport you play, but you're bad. Play this time. You think oh, everyone's playing. Memorize the oh. pattern. Oh. All right, let's put these away. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If you want to survive, you'll have to be invincible this round. misunderstood the assignment oh no carrie <laughs> are you gonna die again right now no. all your memorizing will be for now i was like why is it making me do it twice i already did a, it once they got a frankenstein but, you and bring you back hey, remember this how did you do yes not well <sighs> did anyone do better than you Ugh. now oh. that's what i'm talking about <laughs> Sorry, Alonzo. I'm sorry that mine and Hal's skills killed you. supposed to attack the weakest I really blame Michael Phelps. Yeah, it's fair. It's his fault. I blame him for a lot of things. Shoot, I forgot to pick up the coffee filters. Sorry, I don't know why that popped into my head. I should probably run out after I'm done with you. Next question. If I was thinking about getting a leather mask, who should I see? Yeah, see all my plants? I even have them. Look at, look at all these plants. Hey. Whoa. She's a stage. This. All right, next question. In mathematics, what does I stand for? Oh, no. Time's yeah! running out. Who picked this? I cut that finger off. Yep, so did I. Oh no! Let's go someplace fun. Oh. Let me ask you a question. Your oh, answer wow. is very important. What was the best school lunch? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. This is so easy. 
So is me. But it's supposed to be the worst answer? Hmm? Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. I forgot the assignment. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> forgot. You sure did. Oh, the pizza is made of rats. It's a uh, it's, uh, gross pizza. Yeah, it's bad pizza. It's for rats. Always remember if a vegetarian is playing with you. <laughs> That's right. The votes are in. I can't believe you still got that many votes, Al. It's like, no. Banned. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. What? Oh, I died for the worst. I thought I. Wow. Oh. Uh, I survived with pizza. Yeah. It saved the day. I misunderstood. As it so often does. Yeah. Well, look who's still alive. It's now me. You to speak with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Events in a decathlon. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Okay. <laughs> this is a focal condition. You don't need to make fun of me. <laughs> He's <laughs> very sick. I need a lozenge. Mr. Wayne. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If it's up to you to be able to see your body, then they can That's escape. That's right, Hal. Eat shit. Here we go. I'm not gonna eat this shit. I won't eat this shit. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. This is my giant water bottle. Enjoy. Oh, nice. Thank you. Look at all that hydration. Way to stay hydrated, Travis. <laughs> I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Oprah's a fruit? Hell what? yeah, it's got seeds, motherfucker. Uh, you should be. Houses and Game of Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, God. Um, can we have more fruit questions? Uh, Dragon uh, Travis invited me to play a, a Game of Thrones board game, and I'd never seen the show, and I was confused by the game. And you don't the need show. to know anything about the show to enjoy the game. I was, I was, it was fun, but I was very bad at it. I've never seen it myself. Candy bars. Were now we're talking. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, wait. No, I'm right. These are my fruit. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Yes, none of them have to do it. Yes. Oh, Rats. No. My love of candy is paying off. Sharks. <laughs> That's clever. Sixty nine. Oh, seven. <laughs> oh, no, I did a bad job. Cookie Cutter is a shark, I guess. There we go. Yoga poses. I don't know. <laughs> I bet Carrie knows. I'm the word of confident. With all your weird science. <laughs> yeah. 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 Does this count as a curse? Oh, no. Yeah. See you later, suckers. <laughs> Oh no, wait, did 
Kyle just win. Yeah, our ghost got yes, eaten. Typical. Uh, Maintain a healthy lead. Aw, uh, good job, pal. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to have escaped. I will roam the, the countryside as a one eyed grimace. <laughs> okay. Well, the audience dies. Man. Sorry, I murdered so many people. It's really high stakes to watching this Zoom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now. I shall escape. Oof. Okay, okay. I think we can come uh, around. I think we can see. pull this one out. You guys want to play a different game? Yeah. Sure. Which one is, what's Quiplash? It's the Say Anything Party game. Along <laughs> yeah, it's the Say Anything Party game. What, it's what a joke writing game. It's fun. Travis, oh, yeah. what's the pattern on your shirt? Oh, it's birds. Ah, oh, nice. Bird. Hi, friends. Put a bird on it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a two. <laughs> you get it. Um. Okay. Is there any way for you all to turn yourselves up? Oh. I Us? can. But I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna be dangerously close to peaking. I was gonna say I'm I'm, I'm is that audience hot. is that sound level butter? Yeah, can you can you adjust it from the share? Is it possible to adjust the level from there? Borderline hot from is also Zoom? the name of my memoir. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was called uh, "They Made a Monkey Out of Me." Oh well, it's been last. Somebody took it. Damn it! Oh, that's right. Mm, no. If I turn that on a little bit, hopefully that is good. Well, instantly got loud again. It really did. If I put something in the chat, can our audience see it? Yes. Okay, good. I'm waiting for the chat to say that I have a booger and I can't see it. <laughs> Very advanced. Okay. Absorb it. Think about it. Yeah, it got louder. Okay, I'm going to try it down a little bit more. I tried to. Yeah. Carrie, you went over my head. <laughs> okay, so it takes three or four steps to get there. But so, you know, the monkey see no evil, do no evil. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Wait, with the second, monkeys. Carrie. I need to hear it. Hold on. Because whenever we talk, it ducks the audio. Okay. The music group, the Monkeys, they took monkey and they replaced EY with EE. -E. Oh, I, a very smart person, did it the other way. <laughs> ha ha ha, thank you. Oh, Kyle gets was, it now. That was deep and I'm heavy. I'm in it. That you really want to have to explain a pun for a title mm. to really, really work. <laughs> I was thinking like Mercy Beat or something. I, I was, it was no. Okay, That's we got a new room code, simple. folks. Oh, you know when you're all in. No, I'm not in. I'm distracted by pens. Okay. Hey there, I'm Schmitty, and if you're lucky, I'll let you pick one item from the mystery bucket. But first, Quiplash. I think we've got just enough people to do the wave, but let's not. Here is round one. I'm going to beam two prompts to your device. Answer them however you choose. 
you type goes up against what someone else types, and everyone votes on the winner. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! While the players enter their clips, audience members can try the audience play along on their devices. David, yeah, yep. is uh, depicted with a, 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 a small penis. Yeah. Yes, because it used to be an ancient Roman such in Italy. It was thought that having a large penis was a sign of ignorance. My answer is... I Let's can't. start the show. I'll explain For, it. A good punishment for an unruly child is to simply look him in the eye and tell him, like... Okay, everybody pick your feet. <laughs> Very good. Okay, next. I got it. It was really hard to smash into a set. All these children's blank memories. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> oh man. Both good. It was tough. Yeah, that was a really, really tough one. I was too prosaic on that one. <laughs> I consider my teeth my teachers, so it was like I get that. One. And vice versa well, my mouth for me. Teachers? And would be Crosby, Stills, Nash Young, and Blank. Vote now. Huh. Should have wrote Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. I <laughs> A split, another split. <laughs> I'm I'm in with prose tonight. <laughs> yeah. A good joke to say while you're tied up in a basement. Oh. <laughs> I win. <laughs> I was still trying to cram that one sentence. <laughs> that it. other question. The scores for oh. round one. Mm. Oh, humiliating. Line them up. That's okay. You get a second round. Round two is upon us, and all points are doubled. Take that round one. Attention audience, while you wait for these annoyingly slow players, why not try the audience play along?
Very dumb. Both. Dumb. I assume that was just you talking about your kids, Travis. <laughs> I like it. Hurry up. Use a safety clip if you can't think of anything. There wasn't enough room for my original one. Let's see those quips. Yeah, yeah. Super no. bonus, Hal. Make me so no. mad. Think before you get married. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It's allergy season over here. I got some that that drainage. Oh, I see. Oh, I see how it goes on my YouTube channel. Oh, fine, it's fine. <laughs> it's mine now, Travis. In front of my salad. Like a great way to do a sex education test. Okay. <laughs> Those are both very good. <laughs> I'm gonna bet that Carrie's was the very practical one, but that's just my guess. You can't. Yeah, I do like both of these a great deal. No clunkers. No clunkers in this game. Oh! Thank you for knowing and seeing me, Travis. You're welcome. <laughs> I've just, I've talked to you enough that that would be your honest yeah. response if someone said, how do you cheat? You uh, saying you, you can't. That makes sense. <laughs> Get to voting. <laughs> <laughs> These are both very good. <laughs> this is my body. I was like, does, does it have onions? Because <laughs> like, if, <laughs> if it has onions, it can't. And it's not like an allergy thing. It's just like oh, a it's wet. <laughs> and next is a strange thing to yell when you find your first gray hair. Put in your votes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. I'm just going to enjoy. I had to vote for you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that was a way right over for a second. <laughs> it took me a second oh. that I got there. And... Very close. Is it because no. hair and hair sound the same? Yeah. I get it, Gary. Right. It's good. <laughs> it only works. Bazinga is only funny if you picture it like I do, which is like a sad, like, <gasps> Bazinga! Kind of like, it's like, I get it. Everyone gets the same prompt this time. Oh, damn. <laughs> Invent the full phrase that goes with this acronym. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Okay, here we go. In this round, you've got two medals to give to your two favorite quips. Choose wisely.
suspense is killing me. Let's see who got those medals. Here's the silver. And gold. Let's melt those medals down for points. Ah, oh, guys, I literally just put words. <laughs> there was no concept with it at all. Final scores. Whoa! Oh. Ah. From third. God! I'm supposed to have the nerd show and look at me. <laughs> we did it. Another good one. Let's see, what should we do now? Head writer Spencer Ham. Let's play some Fibbage. Oh, Fibbage. I know, I actually know this one. Yes. Okay, yeah, one moment. Founder of Jackbox Games. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it seems like such a lofty title for a Joseph Smith. <laughs> okay, worked out. He looked inside his magic hat. What's that? <laughs> Can you see those people? Can you distinguish Hello. those shapes at all? <laughs> Is it just a glowing box? <laughs> Let's log in, folks. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. Ooh, I like this color scheme. Isn't it nice? Yeah. I like that too. Do it. Waking everybody's in. Hi, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. To paraphrase my dad, I love you, son. <clears throat> hey, it's my three favorite people. And you. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. Audience members get to guess the truth and pick decoy lies to fool the players. Let's go. Let's do this. God, this art is so good. One, which means you get 500 points mm. for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get a cool thousand for finding the truth. Excellent. That's That happens in real life, too. Select a category. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, come on. Stop All right, me. One. That, that. Hallelujah. A self-described savior named Master Adonis has started his own religion called Adonatology, which describes itself as a new religion for blank. Now, use your device to put in a lie that you think will trick the other players into believing it. If you're stuck, for half the points, you can hit the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it now. Right, music something in these games is great. For me. Yeah. The whole graphics package of this thing is basically my kindergarten years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> okay, these are your choices. Pick the truth on your device now. And what did people pick? Okay. All 
right. Only 4% of the audience, okay. Nice. Oh! <laughs> What? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I had it. I didn't pick it in time. Really? Oh, that's the one I picked. Oh. I just didn't pick it in time. Okay. <laughs> it sounds like the kind of thing a scuzzy person would do. That's true. All right, choose a category. Oh, this is what I clean up. <laughs> Well, don't yeah, count me out yet, Hal. The 1998 Never. publicity stunt, Burger King announced that their Whoppers would now be blank. Okay, enter your lies. Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. I would never. Okay. All right, find the truth. The rest of them are just kind of like a voting for your favorite. Okay, let's take oh, a look. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Damn it. It sounded good to me. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> sure you did. <laughs> or were you just sucked into my beautiful lie? <laughs> That's what I meant to throw. Average oh, Farm yeah. remembers. Okay. I'm not doing good on this game. I'm usually a better liar than this. <laughs> so I keep hearing. Yeah. Give me a category. Ah, uh, well, why not? Huh. <laughs> okay, here's the question. Forced my hand. Talk about a weird injury. In 1923, Boston Red Sox player Clarence Blethen cut his butt cheek open when he slid into second with blank in his pocket. Enter your lies now. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. I was hoping that these would be injuries caused by a butt. But... <laughs> <laughs> Should have been more clear. Yeah. All right, pick the truth. Wow, these are all very good. Ooh. Mm. Who picked what? Okay. Did I get more? Sorry. That was good. <laughs> oh, well done, Ah, oh. uh. <laughs> That was what I was going to put if I didn't put a switchblade. Just felt like one of those things strange <laughs> enough to be true. Um, Hal, you're I a very good detective. A bit of in the ass, Thank you. But Thank you very much. Well, Sherlock Julie. Holmes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have fun. <laughs> oh, 
my God, this is so Help around two where yeah. the stakes are doubled. How about some Russian fibbage? Alonzo, did they also play this music in kindergarten? <laughs> uh, only on only when we were really good. <laughs> the Russian's way of saying so close and yet so far translates to your blank is close, but you can't bite it. Type in your lies now. I'm just excited to find out what the real answer is. <laughs> it's fun to learn. Because <laughs> knowledge is power. For real. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. No. Okay, take a look and find the truth. There's so many on here, I hope it's not. <laughs> One in particular. Okay, what did everyone pick? Well done. Gotcha. Well done, audience. Well done. <laughs> you never know. Of course you can bite it. I do it all the time. Yeah, come on. Well, I didn't get any. Oh, I thought I'd get one of y'all. I hope not. That was the one I was really hoping it wasn't. <laughs> nice. Oh, I don't know how I'm doing that. Okay, pick a category. And the question is, when singing karaoke in the Philippines, you might want to avoid the song that's resulted in at least half a dozen murders. Otherwise, you could be the latest victim of the blank killings. Write your lies now. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. <coughs> okay, find the truth. About this one already. I love right. this story. Oh, guys... oh. <laughs> oh, well played, audience. Hmm. I thought that was going to really grab somebody. No, no, so in the Philippines, they take uh, karaoke really, really seriously, and it's especially kind of a machismo thing. Ah. And so Sinatra is like a big deal, but especially. Uh, my way is like this thing that they're it's like a signature performance for a lot of guys and if somebody does it before them and like does it bad and Snickleback hasn't reached the Pacific Rim then it's like well they did it so you can't do it and they did a bad job and it's resulted in like bar fights that have like led to people being killed over it yeah. wow. good god time to pick a category Here's the question. In 2005, a statue was erected in Edinburgh to honor Sir Niels Olav, the first member of the Norwegian King's Guard to also be blank. All right, type in your lies. The 
it's also always fun when you know the actual answer and you put it in. It's like that's the right answer. You have to pick a lie. It's like, <laughs> oh right, right, right. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. This is one where I, when I put it hey, in, I wanted it to be right. I want it to be right so bad. Let's see what everybody selected. I don't know why that didn't fool people. Huh. Know. You know who deserves a statue. <laughs> That's what I want it to be. Yes. I it to in be what pose? <laughs> I put one in now I know I was wrong. Thank you all. Wow. Uh, I thought I wasn't the only one that was wrong. Oh, they took the bait on that one. Yeah. I think it's the bear. I think it's the penguin. Oh, it is a penguin. Oh, wow. wow. His successor, Sir Niels Olav III, was promoted to brigadier. Take that, Dad. I'd have been constipated, too. I'll tell you what threw it off. I think it was the audience lie, but a tiny bear. I feel like if you're getting a statue, you would just be called a bear. I don't think they'd be like, look at this tiny bear. This is the final finish. <laughs> One question left for triple the points. Good luck. Invented in the Middle Ages, a cockatrice is a blank sewn onto a blank. Okay, enter your lies. That is a good point, chat. I've never thought about that, but the Fibbage host does have a lot of daddy issues. I've never put together <laughs> what a recurring thing it happens in uh, You Don't Know Jack, too. Hey, Dad, thanks for kissing me on the lips. Our next question is... <laughs> does that make you proud, Dad? Yeah, Sorry, is this I enough? got distracted. Okay. Just to remind her, I didn't go to business soccer. school. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, man. This is tough. Mm. Ah, I'm, ah. Genuinely fooled. I love this part. I didn't get y'all. Oh. <laughs> Uh. Oh, the audience really gets me. <laughs> ah, curses. Did I get it? No way. Okay. Exciting. Wow. Cover it and batter and what? eat it. Nowadays we eat dignified we things like hot dog pizza. Onto a chicken. <laughs> Take that. I assumed turducken. it was like a meal. Thing. Oh, just Whoa. missed out. But the pig's so Ooh. much bigger than the chicken. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Huh. Wow. I can't believe I won that. I feel like that was a real comfort behind victory. I I guess you're the best person. Thank you, yeah. Carrie. Congratulations on being the best person. Thank you for saying it, and it's true. Yeah, you're welcome. But it's still very bold of you. Bad reality. Say. Let's see. You guys want to try a new one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we'll see how this uh, one goes. This is, uh, so this is from Jetbox 8, which just came out today. 
Whoa! Whoa. Nobody's Not even worthy. seen this yet. Yeah, dude, it's a whole thing. Unblocked sing party. Oh, okay. Uh, for a second, I thought you're going for flossing. Like, I, I was confused. It's a block party. <laughs> Unboxing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll turn off the screen so I can show. So we have a couple options here. Drawful animate. Wheel of enormous proportions. <laughs> which is a trivia test. Job job, which is uh, using other people's words to fill out a thing, I guess. The poll mine, uh, right which there. we're on teams and we compete. And I've heard that this is a very good one. Uh, and then weapons drawn. Well, hard not to pick the one you said is yeah, a good one. I agree. Yeah. Uh, I'm down for that or the trivia wheel or the job interview. One. Well, let's try both of them. Yeah, I like the trivia wheel also, but we should do this one. Oh, wait. Fibbage 3 is still up. Not so quiet. You guys ever taste your own breath? Yeah. Yeah, I've got I that know situation. exactly what you mean. I ate some onions earlier. Mm hmm. I have to stand. <laughs> now I will stand. My Apple Watch is, is bossing me around. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was very confused for a moment. Read the room code. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I get to pick who I am. Oh, I want to be. I want to be this one. No, wait. I want to be this one. I can't wait for people to see the one I picked. I like this animation. This reminds me of like Room Phantom Not Found. Tobluth. Oh, no. Room Not Found. Did you put zero and not O? I tried both when I when it wasn't working. Okay, here. Let me um, let me refresh here. Travis, are we on a team together? Is that I think how this might works? be. Yeah, it keeps saying room not Ooh. found. Okay, wait, hold on. Carrie. I'm going to... Uh, okay, so you're definitely putting... I'm putting this in the chat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> what a tale. It, a tell -tale it, was, it was somehow oh. not my fault, but uh, yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> I transposed the middle letters. Okay. Um, okay, great. I so, got so hung up on zero and O. So are Carrie and I a team? Is that the deal? I believe so. The uh, person Carrie, you, who couldn't even call into the, the Rome code, my team. What would you like to call this team? Um. Oh, I also, it's asking me also to suggest a team name. Mm-hmm. To do do we compete against each other for team names? Uh, I suppose. Uh... Bam. Now everybody can see the really cute avatars. And this this style, which is like uh, Phantom mm -hmm. Toll Booth. There's another one that I'm trying to remember. The Doldrums? Mm -hmm. That's Phantom Toll Booth, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. What's, what's the one the, where everybody the has like pointed heads? Except there's like one kid where his head is round. No? If anybody knows, please say it in chat. You mean the point? Is that what it's called? Yeah. The yeah. Harry Nilsson. Yeah. Me and my arrow. Okay. Are you ready? That, do you guys have team names yet? It says there are 10 players. Well, or of 10 players. That's that how much room they have. To. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, no. <laughs> well, well, it seems my treasure-filled web has captured some flies. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Laverne Cavern, just a lonely cave witch who helps hapless heroes through the dark and deadly doom they've stumbled into. Oh. And do you have names, perhaps? 
Not bad on short notice. So here's how it'll go. Each of you would-be adventurers will be presented with an opinion-based survey on your device. Pick the options that best suit you. You'll pick the top three for each prompt you're given. Also, be sure to pick them in order of preference. One will grant the most points, then two, three, and so on. Okay. Once everybody has made their choices, I'll mix everyone's answers together and then sort them from most to least popular. And it seems we have some looky-loos along for the ride. They can't like play. I'll let them answer surveys and skew the results. So let's start with... Which coffee drink would make for the best baby name? Okay. So I'm not trying to match anybody. I'm just actually giving my earnest answer. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Finished right this way. Okay. Now find all your answers. Your challenge can begin. Behind this door, your task is simple. Find the top three answers while avoiding the rest. For every correct answer, I'll give you a nice bright torch. Pretty handy down here. And for each one you get wrong, I'll be taking a torch away. Oh. Since you each brought a torch with you, you'll be starting with one. Let's begin. Aw, baby's first door. Time to pick sweeties. Simply pick a door that you believe is correct. Once you think you've got it, it's up to this player to make the selection. Okay. Each player has okay. to open the door. But for now, it's all you. So start talking already. All right, how? What do you think? I, I, I think it's latte. I think that that's a, a solid top choice. I think it's cortado because it. I didn't even know it was a type of coffee, and it seems like it could be someone's name. But I trust you. Dep if it depends on how earnest we were, I because latte was my first thought before I saw the list, and then I saw the list, and I went, oh, cortado, of course. Hmm. I mean, okay. I also like. Fredo, but Fredo yep. Espresso is a pretty baller name, but... That is a pretty baller name. I'm, I'm willing to go with Cortado. Yeah, let's right. do it. Yeah? Yeah. I feel responsible if we lose a torch. Yeah, you should. Thank you. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> a torch for us. Ooh, keeping that poker face was tough. 69%! <laughs> Sixty-nine. Nice. nice. <laughs> Sex number. All right, Carrie. Uh, do we think that the like Charlie or Fredo because their actual names did better, or did people go for something like Red Eye? I figure nobody's going to say Dopio because that's just no kid would survive the playground with that name. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be a coffee drink familiar to us all. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's going to be either latte or cappuccino. Uh, I mean, do we think, but is, does Cappuccino sound like a, a stripper name? You know, I don't know. Um, Perhaps. Strippers <laughs> are people. So I'm I not guess saying, that still counts. I'm, you know, yeah. I'm talking, it's a stage uh, name. Though, everybody you know. watching, please shame him. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> what about, what's Dopio? What the hell's that? Uh, again, it's, it's a, a coffee the drink. Action. Yeah, I forget what the term means. I knew what some of these other ones are, but no, no one's going to call their kid Dopio because other children are so cruel. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Now, but Red Eye is kind of a baller name. It's like, you know, the sort of thing that, you know, a celebrity would name their kid. That's true. That's true. And you know what? I was thinking most likely baby names and not best baby names which i now see mm. it is you're running out so of time so you might be right with seconds. red eye I'll, I'll, I'll go with you on red eye okay let's do it okay uh, you're running okay. out of time red eye is a butthole <laughs> it's a brown <laughs> eye oh. oh well depends on how oh. clean it is <laughs> you won me over and then you fucked in spite of me i voted for uh. red eye i don't know oh. <laughs> All right, oh, I say we'd go, we go with Latte this time. I think so, too. I feel like people, that that name is out there. 
can't unring that bell. Because, like, Lottie, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, we did it. We're done. Okay, I'll shut up because I don't know. <laughs> so. No, I don't know either. I, Cappuccino does seem like a name to me. Um. Okay. Yeah. Because I again, I think I think Fredo and Charlie are you know actual. Those names. are Maybe actual names. Members of the Godfather, <laughs> but uh, but that's you're right. A solid Cap argument. Cappuccino is thinking outside the box. So let's give oh, it a shot. God. Okay. Yeah, oh. Do you okay. tell me? Yeah. Tell me not to. Okay. No. Go, right. go for it. Okay. I don't know how have you run out of torches. Yeah, just light one with another one. I guess that's true. Uh. <sighs> Life is so hard. <laughs> okay, I feel like it's Fredo or Charlie. Oh, I I think it's I think it's Lungo. I don't know why. Why would you <laughs> call your kid Lungo? But if Why it's Fredo or Charlie, kid, you can call Fredo your kid Fredo or Charlie. Why? Why would you call your kid Fredo Espresso? Because that's part of it. Because that's an Charlie awesome name. <laughs> Whereas Lungo sounds like an offensive term for someone with tuberculosis. That's because you like the movie Tombstone as well. Yeah, it I is. Do. What? We're, we're going to follow this Lungo? <laughs> or just somebody who takes a lot of deep breaths? Remember when he hey, just stop breathing so hour? deep, but Lungo, you're using up all the air. <laughs> We're all trapped in this cave together. It's Tombstone. I don't I, think. I, it, okay, I will trust you. You, you, whatever you pick, I will go with. I have a weird feeling it's Lungo. I know that's weird, but it is but I weird. Trust you. It is I, weird. Listen, I'm going with Fredo Espresso. I think outside the bun. You do. I've always said that about you. Yay! Wow. I was wrong. Well, at least we correctly named our team. Yeah, apparently, yes. It was, it was, in, it was fated. Lungo was six. <laughs> Which is not the least popular. Let's this cavern. Let's really test your medal. And this time, let's rank four choices instead of three. Ooh. Which M. Night Shyamalan movie would be the worst to live through? Not to watch. <laughs> I was going to say, let's be very clear. We've all lived through them. Hmm. Oh, the mm. shitty Avatar movie's not on here. Okay. It turns out I've not seen a lot of M. Night Shyamalan movies. I don't know what some of them are. I've only seen some of them. I've seen okay, far I'm more than I care go to by, have. <laughs> yeah. by the names. They're all from. They're all filmed in my hometown, so I feel like I have to watch all of them. Oh. Oh, you're from M. Nighton? Oh, yeah, I'm in from M. Nighton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> the second cavern is a bit more challenging. This time, I'm not looking for the top three answers. For this round, you'll need to find the answers ranked two, three, and four. Oh. Ooh. So we're not looking for the number one answer. Two, three, and four. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So, um, go ahead. Well, I'm just going to give you just a quick nutshell of what all these are. Yeah. Okay. okay. I know that old is you become old really fast. Yes. Uh, Unbreakable is the uh, superhero one, but the, his nemesis is shatters like glass. Lady in the water is the mermaid in the pool. After Earth is uh, after the apocalypse and Will Smith and his kid come back. Uh, the village is, it seems like old times, but it's actually right now. Sixth Sense talks to dead people. Visit is the grandparents who might or might have killed somebody. And the happening is the plants are trying to kill us. Oh, I thought that was signs. Okay. Well, anyway, no, no, no. Um, I think old will be in those two, three, four. Uh, okay, let's yeah. uh, let's do it. Okay. Tragic. Oh. That was the number one. Oh man. Oh no. Well, we dodged a bullet there. Yeah. Uh, so here's the tricky thing. Yeah. Is I thought about this as like a global event, living through it, and it wasn't yeah. until. I had finished voting, but I thought, wait, do they mean like you're the main character? Because like, I don't know. The Sixth Sense 
would have ranked very low for me as a global event. I'm like, there's ghosts, but only one kid could see him. But if it was like, oh, you're the one kid, fuck. <laughs> but he lives with it at the end. He's okay with it. He learns That's that true. you can help. That is I, think true. Bruce I think Will you're Bruce Willis. I, yeah, I, I think, think it's the, the happening. Yeah, I think the happening is a solid two, three, four. Travis has been dead the whole time. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's I not I couldn't twist. open that red doorknob. Wicked. Okay. Good. Good Feeling job, good guys. in the neighborhood. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, okay. I think okay. I think take, take un, I would take Unbreakable and Lady in the Water, and the visit, or sorry, and Six Sense off the table. So I, I think like right. After Earth would be shitty because there's an apocalypse. The village is shitty because you're in this, you're cosplaying, you know, the ye olden times, and the visit. Maybe you'll get murdered. Okay, murder sounds the worst of those. The uh, visit. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, no, no. or what are those other ones? I don't know. I think we're. I, I mean, I think After Earth is kind of shitty. It's like the, the, okay. the all human life has been wiped out, and you're stuck with the with oh, Jamie you're right. Smith. Okay, you're right. That's worse than death. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice! Yay! We're on the board. Takes we did. Third. What would be third? I, I think village. I think it's well. I thought about that, but then the village you can get out, and you're sort of in the real world. But the visit, you will you will most likely get murdered as opposed but, to living in a puritanical. Like yeah, but by that Bucks logic, County, the, visit, a, the visit's the real world too. I mean, yeah. I feel like the village sucks because you've lived your whole life in this puritanical thing, which sucks. But then also when you get out, you're like, what a, a car, right? You yeah. got a lot to adjust to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to put Avatar. I'm going to write it in. Thank you. His the shitty, last shitty airbender? Avatar. <laughs> nice pick. Nice. There you go. Oh. You sure it's not? Uh, what's the one with Rosie O'Donnell where she's the nun? <laughs> Wide awake? Is Wide awake, it? yes. Yeah. This, one no one the, talks about. The village yeah. led to a big McRoy in fight, uh, family fight, where I made the statement that it was a fine movie, but a terrible M. Night Shyamalan movie. And I stand question. by that. One group won't be leaving it. It became a I pretty nasty. I agree with half of that. Five, well, my two. point was like, ah, it's an okay movie, but if you hold it up to the standard of expectations based on what a director has established prior to that, you could judge it differently because you know what they're capable of. Yeah. It's like Cars and Pixar. Sure. Oh. Oh, oh okay. All right. Two more. Oh. I gotta remember what I put. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is interesting too, because not only are you trying to figure out the other ones, but like you're also looking at yourself like, how do I feel about this? Like, I take a yeah. long, deep look at yourself, Travis. Now for one last <laughs> twist. In this final round, all I ask is that you rank the answer choices from the bottom to the top. Oh, so wow. you need to first find number eight, then seven, then, well, you know how to count backwards. So, I hope. I have a few more surprises in store for you, but I'll spill the beans once we're inside. Ready? Welcome to your final trial. It's just like the previous two caverns, but with three major differences. First, you'll no longer gain torches for a correct answer, but you can bet you'll still lose torches when you're wrong. Second, when you're on your last torch and you answer incorrectly, the game is not immediately over. The other team will need to provide a correct answer oh. to eliminate you. And third, a team wins when either their opponent runs out of torches or if they complete the round with the most torches remaining. Got it? Yes. Okay. We have to figure out the worst one. I think, I think it's, it's Balloon. I think so too. Yeah? No question, yeah. Boom. Nice. 
Oh. Well done. Bravo. Thank you. Now I have no idea. Now I have to pick number seven. Yeah, one flip flop. Uh, since it said for protection, I feel like how is a cantaloupe going to protect you? You roll it at someone? Well, I think you throw it at somebody. Yeah, okay. See, one flip flop I would use, I'd take it apart, and then you have like something to choke someone. But hmm. I, I think I think one flip flop's a pretty safe guess. Should we go with it? Uh, it works for me. Okay. It's tough. You could hurt someone with all these things. True. Oh, you can't. Mm. I like that guy, though. <laughs> okay. This and is tough. What? The other team answered incorrectly. So get this right, and the game is over. Can I tell you right <laughs> off the bat how my shape salad was dressing? I oh, put, yes, please tell me. I put pillowcases number one for me, because all you got to do is find some stuff to put in there. Yeah. You got yourself a solid mm. weapon. I stand that, by that. That's why I had cantaloupe as number two. That's good. I like that. Or just take, the take a nap. And then all of a sudden, it's the grifters. Uh, I feel like it's two marbles because they're small and expendable. You only got two of them. But you could slip. You could put them under and someone will slip and fall. But with two of them, the chance yeah. that that's going to happen is very slight. I, don't, I would go with a bottle of salad dressing. Okay, personally. go for it. I'm going to go with your bottle, call. Yeah. Because that will do nothing. Unless you spray it in their eyes. Well, it's, we don't know if it's a spritz bottle. Well, I mean. <laughs> Wrong door. I don't know what that means. Oh, Thank it God. means we got it wrong. <laughs> Thank God. You lost us a torch, Hal. Dang it. I worked hard to end this. still have a chance. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me show you where it is. Okay. Well, that, my goodness. What do you think, Alonzo? So wait, so now we have to get number six? Is yeah. that the deal? Yeah. I can't believe Caleb yeah. is number seven. That's the <sighs> thing. Oh, maybe now it's bottle of dressing. Uh, even even still lower than one flip flop. I can't. Or am I just fixated on the flip flop? I think they're probably neck and neck. So, if you think salad dressing, I'm I'm happy to go salad dressing. I don't. You know, you're you're the you're the clicker. So <laughs> thirteen do, seconds. Do one flip flop. I'll I'll handle dressing if it's next. Okay, fine. You're assuming a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> Good or bad? That seems bad. We well, can't really see you. <laughs> what? I, I'm baffled. <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess that was wrong. Okay. I think two marbles. All right. Let's do it. No. No. Why? Hi. Goodbye, ears monster. <laughs> we'll miss you. We love you. Here you go. You oh, take my doesn't... lobe with you. Damn oh, it. damn it! <laughs> I lobe. You. All right, Carrie, you pick this time because you were right, and I. Well, no, that now I think now's the moment to try one flip flop again and really. <laughs> okay. Really drive it home. Really dedicate ourselves to this choice. If this fucker wins, I'm gonna be really furious. Hey! hey! Woo! All right, Hal. One flip flop. One flip flop. <laughs> now. One flip flop. Now okay. the pressure's on, Hal. Number four's gotta be two marbles. Do you think so? Because pen, you can stab somebody <laughs> with a pen, right? That's like yeah. a tiny like dagger. Or you write a note and say, nobody's here. Right. And then they'll just move Paper on. Paper cuts, it's a thing. A Paper, scathing critique. Paperclip, you could use to pick lock. You could use yeah. to poke somebody's eyeball. That's Pillow good. case, as I've already said, you're going to put stuff in and swing it. All right, two marbles. It just seems the most ineffective. <sighs> Show me two marbles. <laughs> no. Oh. oh. It's whatever that thing is. Sting. Bye, Snake. We love you. Yeah. Goodbye. Mm. You're our best Can't friend. believe it. It's slipping through our fingers, Hal. Okay. It's, okay. It's mm -hmm. I think we. I think mathematically, we still have a good shot. I don't know. Okay. I think paperclip. I think paperclip. 
Okay, great. 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 Yeah. Cook away. You can also put pillowcase over someone's head. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Okay. Last minute rally. It's got to be two marbles now. Stop saying two marbles. <laughs> Stop it with the two marbles. You and your two marbles, Travis, I swear. All right, you want to go with two marbles? I do. I think it's pen and paper. I'm just putting that in the, entering that into the record for later. Oh my jeez. <laughs> How is two marbles higher? Because there's two of them. They're so. You can choke someone with them. Two marbles in a fountain. But you don't. I, I, are you going to walk up and put it in their mouth and then rub uh -huh. their neck so they swallow it like a I, dog I, taking medication? Yeah. Can, can we put. I yeah, think exactly. Back. We're on the okay. clock here. I'm thinking, okay, so if it's not two marbles, then I think it's got to be pen and paper because pillowcase is too awesome. <laughs> I picked pen and paper for my first choice. I did too. Okay. Then I think we should pick pillowcase. Okay. Pillowcase. Because there might be other marbles. other nerds like us. Okay. This is true. Pillowcase. Is it Try just because the pen is mightier than the sword? Because pillowcase is Exactly. Fuck off. Nah, this is some pillowcase slander. Yeah. <laughs> Sad. We knew. One correct answer remains. Where well, Travis, you... be two we've marbles. traveled down this road with two marbles. <laughs> it feels like it would be weird not to pick two marbles here. Gotta be two Doesn't marbles, it? hell. All right. Two marbles. Show me two marbles, please. Can't there better be two a marbles skeleton so behind high. this door, I swear. Well, oh, right. The world's hey. gone insane. Woo. Yay, we did it. That doesn't feel like a victory, Hal. Nope. It feels like two marbles of a victory. Yeah. Yeah, pen and paper. Distract the monster with a poem. <laughs> or draw a harmful caricature of the monster. Is there that what go. my butt really looks like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And you, you'll learn to love the place. Oh, no. I don't think you're going to love it. Laverne Cavern now. Uh, I think Good that job, that guys. is going to do it. Uh, everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so my name is Travis McElroy. I host uh, one of the hosts of My Brother, My Brother and Me on Maximum Fun, uh, as well as The Adventure Zone <laughs> on Maximum Fun and uh, Schmanners on Maximum Fun. My Brother, My Brother and Me is a dumb, silly advice show where we don't try to give advice. Adventure Zone is a game where me and my brothers and our dad, Clint, play Dungeons and Dragons and Schmanners is a show where my wife Teresa and I talk about the history of etiquette and how it still applies today in a non-judgmental way mostly uh, explaining how you can use manners to get yourself through awkward situations uh, Carrie tell everybody about who you are and your show uh, I'm Carrie Poppy. I co-host Ona Ross and Carrie a show where we investigate fringe science spirituality and claims of the paranormal I think it's very funny the idea that anyone is watching this and doesn't know who Travis is. <laughs> like, who is this weirdo? Um, yes, please, please uh, tune in. It's a good show. Uh, Hal, you go. Sure. Uh, I host two shows of Maximum Fun. One is We Got This with Mark and Hal, which gives definitive answers to dumb debates, mm. and uh, Tights and Fights, a wrestling show that is uh, that is. Uh, the majority of which is not from a straight white male's point of view, and it's people who love but will take to task the world of professional wrestling. Uh, and Alonzo, you're up. And uh, not that we're beating up on straight white guys, but I co-host Maximum Film, which is a film review program that isn't just a bunch of straight white guys, but we certainly have had them on the show, and we, we bear them no ill will. <laughs> it's so uh, nice of you to give them a chance, you know what I mean? It's so nice. They, they, the world just is I not cutting like. them a break. Uh, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's me and Ify Wadaway, Andrea Clark, and a, an amazing array of guests. And uh, check out Tuesday, our very special uh, Max Fun Block Drive crossover episode, which with none other than my brother, my brother, and me. It was very silly and great. It was yes. wonderful. 
this is a great time to check out all the other shows at MaximumFun.org because they all have those uh, the, the listener, new listener welcoming episodes, as well as a lot of fun crossovers and a lot of other stuff to do. Uh, there's, I believe, a uh, like day of service or like some ideas for helping a community and games and stuff like that. There's an exclusive poster that's really, mm-hmm. really cute. Uh, go check it out. MaximumFun.org slash Block Party. Uh, and thank you all for joining us tonight. And Yay. have a good night. Have a great evening. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Bye. 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 Who's Travis?